I have paid great Seth and today just to recap on the work that we did. Obviously the first thing we talked about was the biggest difference between a good player and an inconsistent player. And what we can see here on the left hand side is a player who consistently hits the ball, then the ground. So you can see though that the divot is out in front of where the golf ball originally lay. Now your ability to do that is directly going to affect your effectiveness as a golfer, that's the single biggest difference between good and bad players, the ability to hit the ground out in front of the ball, so we're looking for ball, then turf, contact, solid contact each time we play, if we can get that we can start to then stabilise the curve on the shot with working subsequent lessons. Now the main reason this player is able to do that is because during the backswing he's not going to move off it very much, you can see the, that he stays pretty centred on the way back or very centred on the way back and then drives forward, always moving towards his target so at no point does his body weight move backwards away from his target. What we're going to see here with yourself on your right is a tendency to drift off the ball in the backswing so you can see that we move to the right of that line as you're playing if you will, the left is your viewing. Now in the downswing we've got to return the weight to its original position, now in this instance we don't, we don't quite do it and we're going to catch the ground behind the ball. So the more we move off that line, the harder we're making it to achieve consistent contact. So the drill that we gave you was to position yourself in a normal setup position before straightening the right leg and placing about 75% of your weight on your left. Now remember this is just a drill, but what it does is enables you to get a feel for staying centred on the way back, getting the club coming from the inside, but more importantly it gives you a lovely feeling of what this player creates at impact. You can see the, the weight definitely favouring the left side, weight moving towards the target all the way through the swing. So the more you can do that, the, the less you're going to hit the ground behind the ball and the more consistent contact you're going to make. By the looks of things, when you pop down the range for a little bit of a practice after your session, you start to come on leaps and bounds. Good luck with it. And I'll see you again in a couple of weeks' time. Well done.